Hi people, today we are going to say about switch and router configuration. In this, there is three networks, network 1, network 2 and network 3. Network 1 consists of routers, network 2 consists of computers and switches, similarly network 3. And now I am going to place the, place the computers one by one, PC0, PC1, PC2. Um, similarly for the other network I am going to take 4 computers, 4 PCs, I am going to place them and after which I am going to take switches, uh, 2960 switch console, I am going to take one switch for the uh, second network, network 2 and the other switch for network 3, I am going to choose 2901 router two routers for the network one so I am just rearranging it for more clear uh, visibility I will encircle it now such that uh, we can know which are the networks and the devices in the respective networks so the first network consists of only the routers the second network consists of the four computers and the switch. Similarly, the third network also cons consists of the four computers and the switch. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to give the IP configuration as I said. So for the network 2, the for the first computer, just go into the desktop and IP configuration. Here just type 192.168.10.1 uh, uh, oh, uh, is the default gateway. I just copy it such that it will be easy in pasting it, uh, it for the total networks. By just pressing on the subnet mask, it will get automatically generated. For the first PC, it is 10.2. Similarly, for the second PC, it is going to the desktop IP configuration. It is 192.168.10.3. It is a sub a default gateway will be 10.1. Then for the next computer, it is 192.168.10.2. 168.10.4 and the default gateway, uh, gateway will be 10.1 for the last system of the second network um, it is 192.168.10.5 and the uh, default gateway will be 10.1 so now similarly for the network 3 here we have to give the IP configuration as 192.168.100.2 for the first computer and the default gateway will be 192.168.100.1 uh, by just pressing on the subnet mask we will be getting the subnet mask I am just copying the default gateway such that I can place it over for the other systems of the network 3 also I'm closing it now for the next computer it is go to desktop IP configuration it is 192.168.100.3 it is and then 100.1 the default gateway next will be 192.168.100.2 and 100.1 gateway the last system it is 100.5 IP address and the default gateway will be 100.1 that's it now let's connect all them all of them uh, I'm using copper straight through and using fast ethernet port for connecting 
fast ethernet cable and one by one we are connecting it fast ethernet uh, 0 slash 4 similarly for the network 3 I am using copper straight through and the fast ethernet port and now for connecting the switch and the router and between the routers you have to go into the router and there is a switch over here uh, you have to just switch it off first i think it will be better uh, by zooming in and in the end you will find one switch over here which you have to switch it off initially so i am switching it off after switching it off there is HWIC2T just drag it over and put it overhead and then switch it on now similarly do it for the other router just zoom it in switch off the router just HWIC2T just drag it and put it over there switch it on then just close it that's it now by doing this serial ports get enabled now using copper straight through use gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 for connecting switch and router similarly over the other side too now for connecting between the routers use serial DTE select uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to 0 uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and that's it now all the connections are over our uh, connections between computer switches and routers are over and there is four important points be conscious on selecting the right port parameters in serial use IP address of the selected router and in the gigabit port use the default gate gateway address to the nearest network don't forget to turn on the port after configuring these are the four major points now going to the router Go into the config and select gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. Why I am selecting 0 with 0 slash 0 is I have given here 0 slash 0. So now you have to give the uh, default gateway address of the network 2 as the uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 address and switch it on. Now go into serial 0 slash 0 and give the IP address of the router 1 that is 10.10.10. .10 .10. Give, click on the subdent mask, switch it on and close it. And go into CLI, just exit and you can see all the commands which we have done before have been updated. Just give exit over exit and in router config just type IP space root space 10 dot, uh, 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 space 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 space 10 dot 0 dot uh, 0 dot 0 just give enter then exit and that's it and one more exit for going out yeah that's it now router 1 is completed similarly do it for the router 2 also go into the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 give the default gateway address of the network 3 that is 192 dot 168 dot uh, 100.1 click on the subject mask switch it on and then go into the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and give the IP address of the router 2 IP address of the router 2 is 10.11.11.11 click on the subject mask uh, let's check it once this 10.11.11.11 the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 switch it on and just close it that's it now uh, it's almost done you have to do the CLA programming go into the router to CLA just to enter as you have to configure it first type config 
then uh, select T for selecting the terminal then as similarly uh, as we have done in uh, router 1 just type IP space route space 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 space 0 .0 .0 0.0.0 space 10 dot 0 .0 .0 0.0.0 let's give enter and exit and similarly once again exit and that's it and that's it it's done now we have uh, successfully done the switch and router configuration now let's send packets from or messages from one network to the other network to uh, find the connectivity so i am placing the packets from router uh, 2 to router 1 and you can see it is successful here and router uh, computer 6 to computer 2 it is again successful now pc3 to pc9 again it's successful so that's it the switch and router configuration is successful for more such videos subscribe to my channel techie wizard and if you like the video please give a big fat thumbs up and thanks for watching i have given the link for downloading cisco packet tracer in the description below check it out